Dozens of people gathered at Enoch Elementary School on Thursday night to honor and remember the seven members of the Haight family who were slain in their home exactly one year earlier. Neighbor and friend Cindy Baldwin welcomed those in attendance. We call this a celebration of life because that is what we all want, and that's what Tasha would have wanted too. But I'm going to be honest. I'm afraid there's still a lot of work to be done before this community can feel like celebrating. I've personally experienced and witnessed the impact of this traumatic event on countless friends, neighbors, and family members. I strongly believe that in order for our community to heal from this, we need to be willing to talk about it. This is what gives victims a voice. We can learn from this so that other victims who are still here with us and living in emotionally and or physically abusive situations can receive the help and support they need. As a community, we can do better. It is a basic human right for all of us to feel safe, physically and emotionally, in our homes and with the people we love. Tonight is about the victims. Tonight is about Tasha, Macy, Riley, Ammon, Sienna, Gavin, and Tasha's mom, Gail Earl. Other speakers included friends, teachers, and neighbors who shared fond memories of the family. I'm so thankful that I got to be Sienna's teacher. I love her and I will never forget her. She was an amazing, special little girl. Tasha, your hopes and dreams for Sienna came true. She was sweet, hardworking, and especially kind. May we all strive to be kind, loving, and caring, just like Sienna. Never had Gavin in our class last year. I often felt like he was there with us as we were teaching our lessons. That's how she was. She made everyone feel that way. And it's true. It's true. She loved everybody that way. That was one of her greatest talents. At the conclusion of the hour-long event, chocolate chip cookies made with Tasha's own recipe were served, and people wrote down their favorite memories and other messages of love and support. This is Jeff Richards reporting for City City News, your number one source for local news.